What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another sick ass workout for Swole Sunday. We're gonna make this every Sunday as a drop. Swole Sunday coming in and we're coming in hard. Now let me tell you what we're gonna be training today. Today is one of my most favorite days, but at the same time, I hate this day because it's a leg day. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do for legs. This is to create not just intensity of the legs, the growth of the legs, but also get you to the point where you see every fucking fiber once you fucking shred down. So for the people who wanna get their legs looking insane, this is one of the craziest workouts. And I can tell you I've done this workout for so many like big bodybuilders, best of the bodybuilders out there, and they could barely keep up with my stamina because I go, 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 and this is what we're gonna do today. And I'll try to give you as much information in one video as I could. Obviously, it's not a, everything that you can do for legs, but it is one of the most intense workouts. So let's fucking start. Today we're starting with a warm-up set. The warm-up set will be for a leg press. As you see, we have it bended. What I do is I bend it on both sides. So when you have resistant bends, it helps you a lot when you're doing the negatives. And when you're pushing out, there's more resistance. And we got four plates. I start usually with the three plates, not bended. I'll warm up a few sets, like three sets. And then we'll go into working sets. But this is still a warm up for me. You'll see why. Because very soon we'll be fucking racking them up. It's gonna be a lot of damn weight. Let's go. Guys, I'm fucking hyped. So I forgot to tell you. We're gonna do negatives and we're gonna do pauses. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna pull it down and go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna hold for two seconds on the bottom. Do not go more than your range of motion because you're really gonna fuck up your back. But go as, as low as you can. And when you hold it, you wanna squeeze. And where do we squeeze? We squeeze the hemis, we squeeze the glutes, and we squeeze the quads. Let's go. So we count one, two, three, four, five. Hold, one, two. Press up. So normally, what I would do when I'm doing a warm up, I just feel the blood flow. I don't really go for many reps. I can do 10, I can do 20, it doesn't really matter. But as soon as I'm ready to go, and these are working sets, I'll do anywhere from eight to 15 reps because we're going pretty high. So more than eight reps, when you got fucking 20 plates on the, on the rack, is a lot of weight. So let's get a few more. Then we'll start racking them up and put some more weight up there. Also, when I'm out, I'm not locking my knees. I don't lock them like this. I always keep them a little bit bent. So locking them is bad for your knees. Keeping them bent, it's keeping them on the muscles. Also, you're constantly, when we're doing negatives, we're causing a lot of pressure on the muscle, which is great for growth, but also very good for building every fiber. So when you get lean, you'll see every fiber there. All right, guys. So check this out. Shh, we're not gonna tell anybody, but we're going into a working set. When we get into a fucking working set, you know what happens? We get lit. That's the whole point. It all comes from here. It's not so much of how strong you are, your muscles, your body. It's all in the mind. So if the mind can conceive it, the mind will achieve it. You have to be able to see it in your mind before you push the weight. There's a lot of skinny guys out there that are doing powerlifting. They can lift a shit ton of weight because they saw it here and then they executed on it. So now we got six plates. Now remember, this is not a normal exercise the way that I'm doing it. When you're doing negatives, pauses, the whole full movement, you're stopping. So when you're stopping, you lose a lot of power. If I was just to go for moves, no problem, we'll rack it all up. Six plates, negatives, pause reps, and push, and not doing it fast, that's a hard one. Let's do it. We go through high reps, the lactic acids, we'll go into the muscle, and it's gonna start burning. So I start hurting. But when we hurt, that's when we fucking grow. So let's fucking go.
Let's go. One more. Everything is spinning. And you know what I call this? You guys know about Disneyland? This is called Dizzyland. That's what Swole Sundays are all about. <coughs> Fuck. Feels like you got pneumonia once you're done with this shit. Feels like you got double COVID. Oh. All right, guys. Second exercise. This right here is hamstring curls. But these are stand-up hamstring curls. You also have the lion hamstring curl over here right next to us. With this, guys, I don't go heavy. I go for reps and I go for squeezes. So anytime you do a rep, you're getting blood flow. It goes to the muscle. Every time you squeeze it, you're creating an expansion because now there's blood in there. You're expanding it. Also, you're putting a lot of stress on it because it's holding. And that's what makes the muscle look more dense. So every time you do a squeeze, it makes it look more and more dense. So people have certain legs I would show you, but I don't want to show you, but they don't have that density. Now I'll show you me, for instance, I haven't done legs in seven weeks because I'm trying to shrink. Again, I'm going to the movie industry. It's not a place for me to be super huge, but if you look at my muscles, see that leg? Now, as I flex it, you see every muscle. Now, taking consideration, I'm not super lean. I could be even leaner. I'm only about, I would say 6% body fat right now. I could go down to literally 2%. So it gets very, very, very shredded. Also, now we have a pump. So there's more blood, you see less striations. But you can still see a very nice dense leg, which that's what you wanna have. You wanna have that density, that muscle maturity. So let's go, watch what I'm doing. Again, this one I'll do four working sets. And each set is rep, hold two seconds, back down. Sometimes we'll even do negatives down. Again, negatives help you grow really fast. So we go up. We hold, one, two, drop. You can drop one, two, three, four, five. Back up, hold two seconds and drop. And we'll do this guys, 10 to 12 reps. We're not going heavy. We just wanna get the squeeze. All right guys, so genetics play a role. I'm supposed to be a skinny guy. She's got some crazy legs. Now we're gonna do a quad stomp. All right, I'm gonna go this way and stomp the quad. I think she's got bigger legs than I do, <laughs> but don't let it fool you, I'm stronger. <laughs> stronger, way stronger. All right, one, two, let's go. Beautiful. She's got an insane body. Thank look you. at those traps. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, amazing, amazing. By the way, what's your name? Summer. 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 Okay, another summer. Yeah. I'm Ben. Ben? Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Summer. Another amazing name. <laughs> Look at her. She's shining. It's yes. <laughs> it's sweat. We're gonna do now, guys, double legs. So I'll anchor myself up here, hold nice and tight, and do double legs. So I'll go from single to double. Now hold, drop. This gives you an incredible, incredible stretch for the lower back as well. Gets a whole body working. Whew. Nice and sweaty, nice and juicy. That's how you get a workout, guys. From set to set to set, to rep to rep to rep. No more than 60 to 90 second rest. Doesn't matter how intense that last one was. A lot of the times, guys, I go to failure. Literally. And when you go to failure, the muscle gets so worn out that if you're a beginner, you're gonna feel like you wanna sleep for two days. But when you get advanced, guys, it's gonna feel amazing. You go out there, you eat. I'll eat like a nice steak after legs, lots of carbs. Most important meals of the day. Breakfast, pre-workout, post-workout. All of them have to be high calorie dense meals so you could fuel your workout. 
because there's no way for you to get a good workout and a good pump and for the muscle to recover and to build without food. No supplements, no gear, no bullshit. Food. If you guys don't believe me, Ronnie Coleman was competing in the Olympia. The guy was almost 300 pounds. No gear. No gear. So for the guys who look at somebody like me and go, that's gear, that's steroids. That's somebody who's not working hard. Work as hard as I am, and as hard as I do, I promise you, you will have the same results. Possibly even better if you have better genetics than me. I'm not gonna say I'm the best in the world. I'm just another man trying to make you guys better than who you are today. Let's get to the next one. As men, we hate training legs. But any girl that you ask normally, they love training legs. Watch this. She's training legs. I got a question. What's your favorite muscle group to train? <laughs> Is it legs? Legs. Legs. Yeah. You see guys, I said legs, it's legs. Thank you ladies so much. How about you? As men, we hate training legs. You do? But, yes, but... I've heard, heard so many men, they love to train legs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Are you not one of them? So, I guess they don't train legs with me because it gets oh. very intense. So guys, right now, we're doing hip thrust. You could do it with the machine over there. As you guys see, there's a Smith machine. You could do that with that. Or if you have this machine at your gym, which I don't know if you do, but if you don't, just use a Smith machine, or you could use the actual bar on the floor, but for you, like a bench, and just do it off the floor. But we have a machine in my gym, and I'm gonna show you what I do with the hip thrust. This is extremely good for your glutes, your legs, and your lower back. It creates the stability, and it puts a lot of blood in that area. So when you go for things like squats, leg press, you become much stronger. Let me show you what I'm doing here. We're gonna keep our feet straight forward. I'm gonna pull up our hips, pull it up. Now, we go down three seconds. Then we go back up and we squeeze up and we hold. Again, negatives, three seconds. And we go back up. And this one, we usually go for failure. So we'll do three to four sets of this, going to failure, guys. You're gonna feel this in your abs, you're gonna feel in your glutes, in your hamstring. And when it's time to go, guys, you go. You don't stop. Time under tension, kill every freaking set, every rep, squeeze every inch. Guys, for somebody who has so many back issues, and the doctors told me there was no way for me to ever work out again, and to be able to work out and know that there's a certain exercise that helps me or a certain stretch that helps me or sitting in the ice or certain food or certain type of cardio. Believe me, you start appreciating the little things like being able to have a workout or being able to even walk. Because when I didn't walk for two weeks, guys, believe me, all I wanted to do was walk. But once you walk, all you want to do is work out. Once you work out, all you want to do is grow. Once you fucking grow, guess what? You wanna grow some more, so let's grow. I'm white as fuck right now. I haven't been in the sun for so long. Pale, pasty. But it's okay, we're getting it. I feel like I'm locking myself into a Disney ride. Go to Disneyland. You know, some people that don't know anything about this think that the sport is unhealthy. As long as you train smart, no ego the healthiest thing you can do for yourself. It really burns your ass. I have the best glutes a man could ever have. So, in the podcast with my brother, I was talking about how to approach women. Well, if you guys notice, every video that I have, I approach multiple women. And that's what I normally do. If I like somebody, and I think they're cute. I usually only approach in the gym, guys, because this is like my playground, right? This is where I dominate the game. I come in here, I know who I am, I know what I look like, and then I also know that this girl is doing the same thing that I'm doing. She trains, she eats well, 
she goes to the gym, which means she most likely doesn't go out, you know, and then it's the easiest way because we right away click on something that we're both interested in. So, as you guys saw, the way that I approach women in the gym, you guys could do the same exact thing. For the videos that I showed you guys, it wasn't me approaching them for anything besides the video, but I do the exact same thing if I was interested in one of these girls. You know, I would just approach and, hey, how you doing? So do you come here? What is it that you guys do? Do you guys train for a competition? Do you guys train just for fun? You know, and then what's your favorite food? What's your name? What's your birthday? Where were you born? Where were you raised? Easy, make conversation. If there is anything that you guys can connect on, you know, you keep asking questions. Women like a man that's interesting. Don't make it seem like an interrogation. It's more like chill, like we're just kind of talking. Don't show that you're obsessed or you're want her so bad. Oh my God, so what, what do you do for a living? No, it's like, yeah, what's going on? It's a normal conversation. What do you do for a living? Oh, nice. I shall ask you what you're doing for a living. People are not rude, you know? People are gonna start talking to you. And as long as you make it seem cool, guess what? We'll have a nice conversation. She sees you the first time, she doesn't know you, you just have a normal conversation. See the time that she gets here? Right now it is 3 p.m. Let's say right now I talk to a girl, it's 3 p.m. I know this is around the time she comes. I'll come tomorrow at 3 p.m. Say hi again. Now she saw me twice, guess what? I look familiar to her. Our energy collide. Next time I come again at three, guess what? Now she saw me three times, now we're friends. She feels comfortable with me. At this point, I could ask for something, whether it's Instagram, whether it's a phone number, whatever it is. Get a phone number, get an Instagram. Slowly, slowly start talking. Hey, how you doing? How are you? How was your day? What are you doing today? Oh, I wish you a great day. Don't ask for a date. Become friends first. Within time, your energy works together. It just happens. It literally just happens. And it's that easy. It's super easy, especially when you look like me. It's fucking easy, guys. But you have to take your time with anybody just to make sure that that person fits what you are now and who you're becoming and what your future is gonna become. Because she has to fit your future. You don't want anything for right now. Because something for right now that's dating, forget that, we don't need that. You need a good woman in your life. She'll stand by you, she'll push you, she'll get you to the place you need to get to. Let's get to the next fucking set. So guys, once you're done with leg press, hip thrust and your hamstring curls you go into lunges now if you'll notice i go long lunges long lunges are where i'm stretching literally this way and i'll feel my glute stretching as it stretches it pushes more blood so let's go back and forth two to three times get that stretch now we'll go back to the other side and we're gonna do some leg extensions all right so let's go all right guys check this out so like our last workout that we did we did the chest we did the seven 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 check out what I'm doing here I'll go for eight halfway then eight halfway from up down then I'll do eight reps that are full and then I'll bring it up and do 10 seconds, hold. Check this out. This is how you create real intensity for the muscle. This right now, we're going to hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now full eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now we're gonna hold 10 seconds. Make every muscle work. When you hold it, you wanna squeeze here. You'll feel the muscles up here, almost at your hips. Once we're done here, my boy's gonna come right here, closer. Now watch, he's gonna put his foot, put your foot right here, a little bit higher. Now you want somebody there with you, so you're gonna push, and he's gonna push back with you. So you go back and forth, he puts more pressure, and that's for the finish. Ugh. Oh. Fuck. All right. That's what you call a set to hell. Because literally every rep here was making me feel like I'm gonna die. But it's okay. Because you're not really going to die. You're not really going to the next life. You might faint. But at the same time, you will grow, I promise you. An intensity like this, it comes through time, obviously. But try to give it your best. I'm not telling you go do exactly what I'm doing. Don't kill yourself exactly the way I'm killing myself. But at least do your best. Because your best is better than not giving anything or giving 50%. If you don't do something 100%, don't do it. Don't go into it. Look at how sweaty it is, okay? And I'm normally a guy that doesn't even sweat. But when it's legs, it's a killer. But it's okay, because we love it. All right, guys, last but not least, we have the calves. So calf raises, let me explain to you one thing about calves. They're a very, very stubborn muscle. They're so stubborn that for people that don't have calves, it almost feels like they never grow. So I had chicken legs and I also had no calves. But now, they look pretty good, I can't complain, I like them. The fact that you are walking on your legs a lot and you're doing it every day, all day, it is what it is. You're gonna have to do more reps and more stretches. So check this out. We're gonna start here. This one, I don't know, a lot of people don't have it in their gym, but we're gonna start on this machine. And then we're gonna go to calf raises here. So these are seated and these are standing but bend over and it gets very intense. And I'm already fucking dead, to be honest with you. So, let's go. We're gonna push ourselves to the next level. Let's go. All right, so, we got 20 reps here. Again, remember, it's a stubborn muscle. We gotta go for a lot of reps. Once you're done here, with 20 of them, we'll go to seated and go here till failure. With these, I always hold for about one second at the top. I right, squeeze, stretch them down, back up. You guys could see the lines. So down, up. Now we'll go here to the wall and we'll stretch them. Right now we're stretching the one in the back and then we'll stretch the second one. The reason we stretch them is again, that muscle is so stubborn, it's like a fucking horseshoe. So we stretch them and then we can get more blood in there. All right guys, so we're gonna do another set right now of donkey calf raises, then seated calf raises, and then another stretch. We'll do that four times, okay? So each one is one set. We'll do that four sets. And that's gonna kill your calves. All right guys, before we finish the session and say goodbye to all of you, I wanted to do a little bit of posing to show you guys how good it looks after a workout and how great I feel after a workout. Although my brain is fried and I need to rest, I will never regret coming here and putting my 110%. Because every time you come in and you give 110%, your next 110% becomes way better. People ask me, how much percent did you give in today? I tell them 110%. How much percent are you gonna give in tomorrow? I don't know, but probably another 110. And if I need to, I'll put 120 and 140 because it doesn't matter what. 
I'm going to keep doing what I have to do in order for me to grow. I'll only create growth by becoming more and more intense with my workout, with my work, with my businesses, with my videos. I'm only going to get better and better and I'm only going to get more and more intense. And the more you put in, the more you'll get out. That's it. Simple as that. I promise you. It's as easy as that. If you're going to put an hour into something per day, you'll get double the amount than if you were to put only 30 minutes. Make sense? Or science doesn't make sense anymore where 2 plus 2 now equals 3. Yalla. Yalla! Alright guys. Legs. You guys can see the calves. You guys can see those feathers. See that? The whole body. Ready? Now, I'm not a bodybuilder and I'm not a power lifter. I just like to be strong. I like to look good. I like to feel good and to feel fit. It's not always about how you look, it's more about what you feel. So, you can see a woman in the beach and she's overweight but she is so proud of herself and she loves herself so much that she'll wear a bikini with a thong and it eats up the thong and it eats up the bikini but it's okay because she's comfortable with herself and that's the most beautiful thing is being comfortable with who you are as a person feeling good and then you'll see a bodybuilder who had a little bit too many carbs the day before and he's fucking insecure to take off a shirt at the beach while he still has a six pack, but they're not as shredded as he normally is. Those insecurities, they gotta go out the window, guys. You gotta love yourself for who you are. There's only one of you, and that's what makes you unique. There's only one Ben, and if there's only one in the world, when there's something that there's only one of, how much money is it worth? It's priceless. If there was a Bugatti, and there was only one Bugatti made, only one, how much would it be worth? Same thing here. There was only one of you made. You're unique. You're beautiful. You're perfect. You're everything. The only one that needs to see that is you. Not me, not the people on the outside. What do you care about people on the outside? They're just people. They have the same hard times. They have their own insecurities. We are all here on this planet for a reason. Each person was put here to do something else. That's why we're all gifted in different ways. That's why we all look differently. Because God created us in a way that we will accept one another and accept ourselves. And love ourselves for our imperfections. Because if we were perfect, we would be up there with God. We'd be sitting right next to him. He put us here with some imperfection. You guys might look at me and say, oh, that guy is perfect. Yeah, look at his body. He's got money. He knows how to talk. He can get any girl. Guys, I'm far from perfect. There's only one thing perfect in this world, and it's God. Other than that, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect, but I love myself for who I am, and I go through my struggles. And today, I found a calling to come and help you with your struggles. So do the best you can. Love yourself. Because I love you. Even if I haven't met you yet, guys, I love you. And I put all my love to you. So we're going to wrap this up. Because we got to get on and eat some good food. But again, we'll see you on the next time. And thank you. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Because we're going to have Swole Sunday every Sunday from now on. So many of you guys have been asking for this, so I'm going to give it my all. And again, thank you all for subscribing and being a part of this. We're all a family. Let's fucking go.